Like the wise Henry Ford once said, the only real mistake is the one from which we learn nothing. Luckily, for the INFJ and their innate thirst for knowledge, nothing could be more true. Mistakes are inevitable, no matter which personality type you fall under, the most important thing is knowing where to look for the lesson. Welcome, or welcome back, psychos! Today, we're going to be talking about the six mistakes every INFJ has made at least once in life. Before we get into it, we'd love it if you liked and subscribed to our channel, as well as to click the post notification bell so you never miss a video. Number 1. Idealizing someone before getting to know them. Let's start off with the doozer. The one thing that every INFJ can relate to at some point in life, idealization and perfectionistic expectations of others. While it's not always considered a mistake for the INFJ to be able to see the potential of people that aren't able to see it for themselves, sometimes this idealizing can end up only hurting them in the end. Some examples of this would be having overly high expectations of new partners, misunderstandings of a new friend's character, or even something like falsely concluding who someone is apart from a certain set and setting, such as a teacher or boss. When the INFJ mixes their observations with their imagination, they can end up fabricating a considerably unrealistic view and then become somewhat disappointed when the real world doesn't match up. By magnifying or even glorifying other people's virtues while at the same time overlooking their flaws, they automatically set themselves up for disillusionment that's difficult to come back from. Plus, most people don't particularly enjoy being praised for qualities they don't have nor do they enjoy feeling like a disappointment when they're unable to compete with these set-out expectations. Number 2. Close-mindedness Defined as one of the personality types to have an open mind and the keen ability to see all things from multiple perspectives, most INFJs would say they can't relate to the struggle of close-mindedness. In fact, a close-minded person can be one of the INFJ's biggest pet peeves. However, the INFJ is also contradictory in nature, and with that, they make the mistake of close or at least single-minded behavior at times. Sometimes, the passionate INFJ personality type can get so excited about their ideas and visions that they lose interest in anything outside of their belief. At times, it may seem to go as far as them losing grip on reality as they filter out any information that contradicts their ideal projections or understandings. With independence and unique thinking patterns at the forefront of who they are, INFJs can find themselves committed to their perception for longer or deeper than may be considered healthy. They may find it difficult to take other people's views into account on certain manners because they know that not many people look into things as deeply as they do. And while this may serve them well in certain circumstances, sometimes it can be considered an attempt at burying their head in the sand, refusing to use their logical side that understands the value in outer perspectives, even if they may be a little negative. Number 3. Uncalled for self-blame With self-criticism often comes self-blame, and unfortunately, most INFJs have made the mistake of both. In fact, compared to some other personality types who have difficulty knowing when and how to own up to their mistakes, the INFJ seems to have the opposite problem in some circumstances. When things fail, the first and often only person they check in with is themselves. Sure, this can be considered a sign of maturity in some ways, however, when the INFJ is stuck ruminating, calculating and obsessing over where they went wrong, it can become seriously debilitating. Whether it's in their work positions, relationships, or just a simple mistake made in everyday life, INFJ guilt can creep up on them and stick around for much longer than necessary. As a matter of fact, this is why external constructive criticisms can really hit them where it hurts, because combined with their self-criticisms, Self-blame is difficult to step away from. Most INFJs can relate to a situation where they drove themselves insane by thinking about what they should or shouldn't have done or said, picking themselves apart for things they most likely haven't even caused. Number 4. 
burning themselves out with self-criticisms. If we left it up to that little voice in the INFJ's psyche that tells them they're not good enough, you can be certain they would be left paralyzed in fear to ever step outside their comfort zone. Luckily, these self-criticisms are usually rooted in a deeper sense of high self-expectations which push them to go out and do the things they're unsure of. However, like many of the other contradicting INFJ traits, there's two sides to everything. And in this case, if they allow their self-criticisms to run rampant, they can easily burn themselves out, both mentally and emotionally. Whether it's convincing themselves they haven't done enough, or what they have done isn't good enough, the INFJ has difficulty seeing their past wins because they become so blinded by what they've yet to accomplish. Unfortunately, this isn't a one-time mistake, but in fact, something that most INFJs struggle with for a good part of their lives, or at least until they get a better grip at using their inner critiques in a lighter sense. Until then, this habit can cause the INFJ personality type to feel a sense of defeat, unworthiness, and an overwhelming desire to simply throw in the towel, sometimes before they've even started. And when that happens, it comes with a whole other sign to the story, which brings us to number five, self-sabotaging dissatisfaction. Despite their passionate nature and optimism in life, INFJs are one of the main personality types known to suffer from depressive episodes. One of the key reasons for that could be rooted in their at times chronic dissatisfaction in life. Always looking for a more fitting and fulfilling life, their future-focused imaginative minds can make the present seem rather dull. So much so that if they wallow in that imaginative future for long enough, they'll be met with some serious dissatisfaction in their most precious areas in life. And so, there comes a time in every INFJ's life where they fall into the trap of thinking their lives need to be changed in a dramatic sense, only to find themselves twice as lost and confused. Of course, it doesn't always play out that way, especially if they're in tune with well-developed introverted intuition. However, sometimes they're chasing for something better without an idea of what better thing could entail. Not only does this leave them completely restless, but this dissatisfaction can also sabotage their chances of finding all they're looking for with what they already have. In fact, for this exact reason, this temporary way of thinking can also upset their friends and family who are left trying to figure out why the INFJ feels they need to create a crisis out of normal life, or why they don't fulfill the INFJ's expectations. Number 6. Overcommitment There are times where INFJ leaves something good in search of imaginative happiness, and then there are times where they completely overlook their dreams and goals due to overcommitment. And this tends to be one of the INFJ's biggest mistakes of all. While leaving something behind in search of something greater may be toxic at times, it does come with a sense of adventure and individuality that the INFJ craves in life. However, when this perfectionistic type temporarily abandons their dreams and hobbies because of a certain commitment, everything can quickly go downhill, with the most important thing being their mental health. Every INFJ loves a challenge, and better yet, if they can consciously recognize that their efforts are contributing to the well-being or success of something or someone, they may feel that sense of fulfillment they were longing for all along. The unfortunate part comes into play when they finally get a taste of that sense of purpose and end up dropping everything else that used to bring them happiness in order to focus on it. Whether it's a job, a relationship, a friendship, or even something as complex as parenthood, if an INFJ doesn't maintain their variety in life, they can very quickly crash and burn. Now, we're not saying that commitment is the issue here, as INFJ can be some of the most reliable committer personality types. But overcommitting only results in the INFJ eventually trying to pour from an empty cup, which only becomes more challenging over time. Well, psychos, that's a wrap. So comment down below of a time that you struggle with one of these six mistakes as an INFJ. Also, make sure to leave us a like, share with your friends, 
and also subscribe to our channel so that you never miss a video.